I am Elizabeth Dean Hughes and along with Arthur Tem, we're the creators of Dean Hughes Designs and it's a company from Georgetown, Guyana. We are creators of wall pieces, jewelry and functional art, which means things like placemats, napkins and clothing. We have recently returned from Ghana on a year's fellowship from the Commonwealth Foundation's Arts and Crafts grant. We were in Ghana learning how to do kente weaving and recycled beads. Now I will speak about these pieces in the exhibition which is currently on at the Guyana High Commission and currently means from the 20th of October to the 26th of October 2003 and it's in London. It's called Integration and Expansion. In this exhibition we have integrated the new skills which we have learned in Ghana and expanded the range of our products. This is a piece entitled Textile Circle Mosaic and in this piece we're trying to play with circles and boxes in which we find ourselves. This is a textile piece and in it all the pieces that you see are hand painted pieces um, and they are some kente pieces which we wove ourselves in Ghana and um, this piece plays with light. If you have it in front of a light element it has a certain um, aura and it depends on what kind of light it's in, whether it is natural light or incandescent light or fluorescent light, if it's colored light or white light. The whole feeling of the piece changes depending on the light. If it's in natural daylight, as the daylight progresses and changes, the aura of the piece progresses and changes. There are some um, hand-painted pieces in here. Um, these are all hand painted by myself and Arthur and Arthur assembled this piece together with my help. This here is a piece called Captured in Staples and um, in this piece we have kente, kente fabrics, we have hand painted fabrics, we have grass fabrics and we have paper and they're all stapled together um, to hold the piece together and it's called Captured in Staples. Again, this piece plays with light as the middle hair is transparent. It's on a mesh and that is sand with a um, ribbon in the sand. My next piece, which is called Chaotic Discipline, was inspired by the city of Accra, which is quite chaotic and at the same time it has a structure once you flow into the chaos. Um, these, this is a piece that has fabric, um, paper, textile, straw, um, uh, what they call um, sponge, which is like a, a, a wood, um, beads and gold filled beads, uh, raffia. This is um, a kente, eve kente, and this is fabric, uh, embroidered fabric, and these buildings represent the struct these structures, sorry, represent the buildings in Ghana. Um, these are the push card people that you see around Accra. They carry a lot of load and some push cards. This represents the fishing people of Ghana, these boats and the flags. Um, these cars represent the traffic and um, the, 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 the slightly undulating landscape. And this represents the women who carry the load on their head. You see everywhere in Ghana they carry all the load on their head. And so I called it chaotic discipline as a uh, juxtaposition of those two. And then now we can speak about, um, in this exhibition you will see a lot of houses. And to us the houses represent structures that protect your mind, your body and your spirit. And this was done in black and white and this, the black is actually marbled. If you look carefully, there's a, a very subtle pattern on it. And it's called Houses in My Community. And it's all about um, the different types of houses you would see, the different shapes, you know, small houses, big houses. And it's, at the same time, it represents the social structure in terms of, you know, small people, big people, medium people, people who fit in, who are next to each other. In Ghana, it's very stark where you have um, small people and big people living right next to each other. And that means um, poverty and wealth in a social sense. And you can decide who's small and big. Um, this one is a piece that's inspired by the Caribbean. And it's about how sun shines in all our lives all the time. And that's sun in a physical sense and sun in a metaphysical sense in that you have to have the positive energy. And so this is every little, it's a sort of a panoramic uh, view of a village. This piece is actually reversible in that at the back where we have the hand painted silk, 
um, and the embroidery design, I've in further hand embellished it and put um, trees, um, the representation of trunks of trees. And so you get a, a more subtle effect at the back. This piece entitled Bead Kente Mosaic is a piece that is um, a mixture of our interpretation of Kente, which is not the traditional type Kente, but is woven on the same loom um, with a stained glass kind of translucent effect. And then we put local Guyanese material like bamboo in it, and then we have some um, uh, Ghanaian brass beads. Here we have some Guyanese clay beads and um, kente again. And this piece also plays with the element of light. So when you hold it up to the light, you get a different effect. Um, in the daylight, as I explained earlier, and the night light, you get different effects. I will hold it up to the light here so that you can um, have a better look at it. And this is the back view. These pieces are also s reversible, so when you get tired of one side, you have a new painting, you turn it around and you have a new wall hanging on the other side. And again, depending on the type of conditions and light you put it into, you'll get different effects. This other piece, which is called Musical Mass, is a batik on canvas. And the reason it is called Musical Mass is because we've used musical symbols. Here you will see the treble clef. Um, the bass clef is here, and you have the notes, um, I can't remember what they're called, and two notes that are joined um, on the treble. And so it is a mask. Again, in this exhibition, you will see lots of masks. And masks represent to us the different guises we wear. You know, you wear a guise when you get up in the morning, you wear a different mask to have your breakfast, you wear a different mask to go to work. When you're socially interacting with people, you have another mask. And so we have quite a, a number of masks that will, will become prominent throughout this exhibition. Now here we have a piece that's called Community of Women. And it's about um, how women interact with each other, how they help each other, how they, they form a sisterhood. And these women here are communing with each other. We have a woman's head here, that's her body going there. That's another head, that's her body. That's the other head, and this is the other head. And these women are community of wom a community of women who are interacting, supporting, and helping each other. Um, on to the next piece, which is called Expressions of Mass. Here we have um, been inspired by the masquerades and the Amerindian culture in Guyana. Um, this is, uh, up to here, it's an Amerindian symbol. Um, the colors are playing with the masquerade band, and we have a mask here again, which, as I explained earlier, is um, our different guises that we wear. So this is called Expressions of Masks. This piece here, um, Paper Circle Mosaic, is related and was done at the same time as the Textile Circle Mosaic was done. It is the same concept, it is a bit smaller, and this, all this is paper and it is hand-woven, pa handmade paper. Um, everything in here is paper and again this piece plays with the light. And normally these pieces would be framed in um, two pieces of glass, with double glass framing. Um, and you can hang it up either flat on the wall or slightly off the wall with um, track lighting so that you can get the effect. The beauty about these pieces also is when they're framed and they're hung off of the wall with the track lighting, you get a third dimension going into the piece um, because the shadows that form on the wall add another dimension um, to the work of art itself. And um, here we have Thoughts in Cloth. And this is a, um, a patchwork mismatch of cloth. And um, what we were trying to do here is to show how our thoughts sometimes kind of jump and you have overlaying thoughts. And this is just plain fabric, hand-painted fabric, embroidered together with some burlap in it. And so this is called Thoughts of Thoughts in Cloth. Um, this piece is called Village View. And again, this is a study in houses, um, the structures that support us, our bodies, our minds, our spirits. And um, it is a applique embroidered piece. Um, these four panels are embroidered, and these are hand painted. And we've given it dimension by giving it a, 
a background overview with different structures, the roofs in these houses. And so when you stand up from on a hill and you look at a village, this is the impression that we have of what it would look like. This piece is called Name Your Piece. It's not really the name of the piece, but it's really for the viewer to see what they see in it, and then they can come up with a name themselves. This piece is fabric, paper, um, straw, and it's overlaid with um, uh, a mosaic effect outside. Um, this is a translucent piece. This piece called Sex in the Village, and you figure out why, um, is an uh, appliqued piece which is embroidered together and then it is cut out. This Riverside Village is about um, the villages you see going along riversides in uh, most countries. Um, and we've put some mountains in it, and this is also a translucent piece. It has paper, sand, um, fabric, and some grass at the bottom. And on to our next piece, which is called the valley. This was inspired by the Amerindian villages, and there are actually photographs in here, which are photographs of, um, that were taken while we were in the Amerindian village, and you have that in Guyana, Pacaraima, undulating effect. And this is the sky. This is paper, fabric, mesh, photographs, um, string, thread, and it is all uh, abstract view of, of the village. This piece we call mental freedom. And in it, um, there are holes with some um, thread running over it. Um, this is a mixture of lace, paper, mesh, um, thread, uh, straw, uh, photographs, and the reason we call it mental freedom is because it's all mishmashed and put together, and in it we have holes by which we can escape. We all have our little escape me mechanisms in our head. This piece is a piece inspired, it's called Symbols, and it's inspired by the Adinkra symbols in Ghana. These are all Adinkra symbols, or parts thereof. Um, again, it's the same technique of um, mixing the, joining the fabric and embroidering it together and then stitching over it and putting another fabric on it. So a lot of these pieces have like three, four, five, six layers. And in layering, what we are tending to um, be doing there is I think as human beings, we layer things in each other. Um, we layer emotion and emotion and emotion. We layer thoughts and thoughts and thoughts, and there are things hidden beneath there that we don't ever see. We also see it in nature. Eh? Um, when you look at a river, you see all sorts of things um, floating on it. Then you see the reflection on the river. Then you have the things that are in the river. So you have all those things that are layered on top of each other. And so in these pieces, we have um, you know four, five, six layers and it's about that concept, how nature does it, how human beings do it, how it's just everywhere, it's just layers. This was from a series of um, women, and this is called Women in the Orange Range, and this is also the Orange Range is the orange chakra in, in the body, um, which is about harmony and love. And these are, this is one woman, this is another woman, and these are another woman, and this is all their energy they're generating from around them in that range. And there's one other called Women in the Blue Range, and it's the same concept, but it was done in tones of blue instead of orange. This is called Story in Blues, and um, these panels, um, it was during one of my blue periods, and I had written my story about why I was feeling blue in Batik, and then chopped it up and, re and rejoined them together. So in here you will actually see some, some lettering, some words written together. And the reason I chopped them up and put them back together is because um, you know, when you're in that state, um, things don't fit together, but you have to pull things from different parts to make them all fit as a whole. This is um, part of our home accessory line. Um, we call it functional art because you can use them in, in a, um, day, daily, on a daily basis. And, uh, these are all hand-painted or batik um, placemats and napkin sets. Um, we do that as functional art because we think that you know, we should have color and vitality and something unique in our everyday life. 
So these are four P sets, six P sets, eight P sets. And over here we have some table runners. Um, and these are just to put down the table and they're in somber colors of monotones, really of browns, which are the colors that are in for autumn of 2003. And so these rolled pieces here, you would just run down your table.